Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of TalkingWithHeroes.com talk show program. I am Bob Calvert, your host, TalkingWithHeroes.com, and I thank you for your service.us news site. Here also with Anna Sophie Hickson, who does the Anna Sophie Hickson. I am sorry. I saw that look. It's late, man. I can make mistakes. Um, anyway, we're here. We're still in Iraq. And uh, earlier today, we were with Echo Company, the daytime shift. And so we are back now with the night shift of the service and support company, Echo Company, the second of the 285th Assault Helicopter Battalion with the North Dakota, Arizona, and Utah National Guard. And uh, we're going to start over here. Uh, sir, if you can uh, hold the mic up. Sure. Tell us uh, who you are, where you're from, and how long you served. Uh, I'm Staff Sergeant Ryan Oldacre uh, from uh, Orem, Utah. <clears throat> uh, grew up in uh, Akron, Ohio. Been in for about uh, 12 years in the National Guard. And this is my uh, first appointment. Okay, and what do you do here? Uh, I supervise the shift. Uh, these guys, uh, the uh, main job is to refuel the aircraft here. Okay, and we filmed outside earlier, but unfortunately there wasn't any helicopters landing. <laughs> So they all acted like one was a helicopter, and you'll, you'll enjoy it when you watch it. Something. Okay. And so is this why you're going first, because you're the supervisor? I, I guess so. I guess so? Yeah. Okay. And um, talk about care packages. Do you get them out here, care packages, uh, last home? Yeah, I do. Um, mostly from uh, organizations that uh, probably know me, uh, churches and such. But uh, they've been a great help, more family. It's always nice to get something from uh, somebody you know. And you're with the Utah National Guard, right? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, would you like to give a shout out to family and friends back home? Uh, sure. My wife, obviously, and my uh, two boys, uh, four and two, Mo and Aaron. Four years old and two years old? Yes. And, okay. Uh, my wife, Angela. And of course, Cindy and my parents, my uh, mom and dad, and both my brother and sister, stepbrother. They'll be glad to have you home, and you'll be glad to be going home soon, right? Yeah. Great. Well, thank you for your service to our country. Certainly. You can just pass the mic on here. Go on, sir. Good morning. Or good evening. It's hard uh, to tell sometimes. It all mixes, huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm PFC James Garcia. I am uh, was born and raised in Flagstaff. I currently live in Phoenix. I'm with the Arizona National Guard. Um, I'm pretty much the fuel accountability uh, specialists here. I account for any fuel that is put into aircraft or uh, ground vehicles at the other FARP. Uh, I send reports up to my higher up in my chain of command. Um, pretty much all I do. So that gives you an idea when you need more fuel brought out here, right? Uh, Pretty much we just bring fuel out here whenever right. the trucks get low or okay. if we do use the bags we uh, fill those up too. Okay. This is your first deployment too, right? Uh, yes, this is my first deployment. Okay. And uh, are you getting care packages and letters? Uh, I get I get care packages from mostly just family. Okay. And uh, I, get a, I get a lot of letters from my grandma, um, my grandpa. Uh, I try to call my dad who's in Afghanistan at the moment. So. Your dad is serving in Afghanistan? Uh, yes. Wow. Thank you to your dad for the service. I'm heading over there after this. It's going to be interesting. We'll talk off the air about that. Uh, hopefully. Okay. And um, why don't you go ahead and give a shout out to family and friends? I just want to give a shout out to my mom, um, my grandma, my, all my brothers, uh, my stepmom, um, my, my nana, and uh, my dad also. Okay. Well, to both you and your dad, thank you for your service to our country. And, of course, to your family, too. Thank you. Sergeant Jeffrey Hatcher. I'm with the Utah National Guard. I've been serving for six years. Okay, and this is your first deployment here? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, what do you do here? Uh, helps our old acre supervise the shift and um, the alert so do you always work the nighttime shift? Uh, no, I started out working days. So you rotate? Yes. Okay. 
It's cooler at night, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a lot better. Definitely. <laughs> you noticed the difference when we got here right away. Yep. Okay. Uh, would you like to give a shout-out to some family and friends back home? Uh, yes, I'd like to give a shout-out to my mom and dad and uh, my friend Alex. And um, love you, and thanks for your support. Good. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. Hi, uh, Sergeant Anthony Alvarado. I'm from Spanish Fork, Utah. I've been serving for about almost four years here coming up. And I, uh, I work on the day shift to supervise the, the Cofield Park over at the, the parking for the aircraft. And uh, it's, it's a small operation with two people over there. It doesn't take much. Okay. It's hot, we, but we do what we do, or we're getting just glad to be getting ready to get out of here. Yep. The uh, heat gets old after a while, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Would you like to give a shout-out to family and friends back home? Yes, I would. I'd like to uh, say hi and to my all four of my parents and my brothers and sisters, to every one of them, tell them I love them, and especially my wife for support that she's given me while I've been over here, and uh, and to my two boys, I love them. Great. Thank you for your service to our family. Thank you. Specialist Derek Peterson from Draper, Utah. I do whatever I'm told and need to do out here. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to my baby girl, my wife, and my family and friends. They know who they are. Thank you. <laughs> Specialist Bobby Kish. I don't do much different than what Peterson does. There's uh, not as many birds at night, so we, we don't do as much as the day shift, but we still uh, get the job done. So. And you with the uh, Utah National Guard too? Or? Yes. Sir. Okay. How long have you served? Uh, about two, three years. Where are you from? Uh, Park City, Utah. Park City. Okay. Uh, would you like to give a shout out to family and friends back home? Uh, my mom and stepdad, my sisters, and uh, just all my friends and family. Okay. Thank you for your service to our country too. Yep. So I want to thank you all for letting us in. Of course, you didn't know we were coming. I think some of you did. Uh, so I want to thank you all. Uh, glad you're going home soon. Thanks for a great job. Once again, folks, we're here in uh, Iraq. And uh, as I say at the end of all of our episodes, please let others know about this video so that millions of people can be watching and hearing uh, the progress stories that are happening here, not just recently, but for a long time. So I am Bob Calvert, your host. I'm talking with heroes.com. Did you want to say something else again? What? No. <laughs> I'm talking about him. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, yeah, th these guys in the night shift, they, uh, it, it's, introduce, it's a hard... Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Freeze. I'm the uh, officer in charge of the FARP. And uh, uh, these guys on a night shift, it's, uh, it, it's a tough duty because uh, when they're busy, they're busy. When they're not, they're not. And it can be a very, very long night, 12, 12 hours straight out here. So. Um, it's, it's really appreciated that they, they stay focused and when these aircraft do come in, you know, that they do their job as standard, they do it safely, and they make sure that the aircraft can uh, complete their mission successfully. So I uh, just want to take this opportunity to thank them and for all the uh, uh, hard work that they do. Okay, you want to give it a shot? Uh, yeah, just to, uh, yeah, I did, did say anything to my family. Um, I mentioned my girlfriend, but uh, uh, I just want to say hello to my family and uh, I want to thank them for all their support through, uh, throughout the years of uh, being in the military. Great. I had a feeling that you did want to say something. I just kind of glanced over at you. <laughs> I appreciate it. You took us out here for the daytime shift, too. That is correct. And right. it was really hot. Yeah, it was very hot. Very it's cool hot. Off. It's pretty nice out now. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you again. Once again, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for helping get the word out. This is Bob Calvert. And and here in Iraq, we'll be back with more on TalkingWithHeroes.com.